Hi guys, this is um, a portrait um, shot from my portrait shoot I did a few weeks ago. If you want to um, see the portrait shoot video, that's on my other channel, Brian's Vlog. Um, yeah, this is Emily Robinson photo shoot. And as you can see, it's quite dark and a bit dingy. Let's see if we can do something with it to brighten it up and make it look a bit more professional shall we say um always well i always start with the develop tool because it's this is a raw file so there you go develop raw and let's see if we can uh fix the exposure a little bit let's bring that up i want this quite high con in a high um what's the word I want it quite white, high profile. The word's gone out of my head. Let's give it a little bit of contrast. You can see the white, we've lost a bit of detail here, so I'm just going to go into curves here and bring that down so I can bring some of that contrast back into the image. And um, so I'm not going to do a lot of editing here because I might come back and do it. I should have put this down to neutral. There we go. That makes it pop a little bit more just make sure this looks all right i'm going to close that down so i'm going to give it a bit of enhance that's normally my next go-to you can go too mad on this and there we go brilliant as you can see now the develop has lost that raw symbol there now but i can just pop over to the edit and it's you'll find it at the bottom there if you want to go back to that so let's jump straight down into the uh, portrait tools. Um, there's nothing in the background to bokeh, although I will be dealing with this background in a minute. We're going to face. Let's see if we can bring that face light up a little bit. Brighten her up a little bit there. Ooh, about there. And it's coming. Okay, so let's give her a bit of iris flare. That's the one at the bottom of the eye there. There you go. My computer's a bit laggy, that's why you're getting the seeing the blur. I won't enlarge the eyes. Although this is good if one eye looks bigger than the other, you can enlarge the mask and balance them out a bit more. Let's we'll deal with the whitening. We don't want us to look like an alien, so we won't go too mad with that. Eye enhancer, let's brighten up the whole iris there. There we go. I haven't got any red eye there. Let's try and brighten up this dark area underneath the eyes. There we go, just a touch. And we'll always, I always like to give it a little bit of, you know, the eyebrows there, so darken them up, bring the focus into the eye a little bit more. Okay, so look at the mouth. Give it a bit of saturation. A bit more red. And we put a little darkness, which comes under here normally. And that just gives it a bit more dimension. There's no teeth to whiten. So, what we got there now? Let's do the little eye bit there. There you go, look, before, after. Now that you can see the eyes are popping a little bit more. I might come back and do another pass because you can use these tools multiple times. So I'm gonna close that down. Kind of into the skin. Here we go. Now if I pump this up to 100%, let it catch up there we go 100 we can see what it's doing it's really softening that skin out although you don't want to go too mad because you'll start losing a lot of detail in the skin pores themselves so i'm just going to bring that back it doesn't help when it blurs when you're moving this dial let's get a bit a bit of that some of that shine there we go so before after on that and we can remove defects let the ai just pick what it wants to remove we can come in and use a brush if it's doing too much or not enough so that's quite good so there's the before there's the after see it's softened this mold a little bit more there we go so that's looking pretty good okay 
Uh, we don't really want to do anything with the body. I don't really like changing the shapes um, of things. So let's have a look at this background here. It's not quite white. I want it high key. That's, that's the word I was looking for earlier. I want it more high key. So I'm going to come back up to develop. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to just really brighten up this image for a bit. There we go. See how that all coming a bit white now but i'm going to go into masking and i'm going to use the ai mask because i'm just going to do a little trick quick and easy let it do its thing so now what it's doing is it's searching for all the components of the picture you know the object the background structures if there were, were any and uh yeah there we go so i'm going to make it select the human There we go, come on. There we go, so now it's, it's selecting the actual model. And I'm going to come back into the mask bit, mask actions, and I'm going to invert that mask. There we go. So now that should be just affecting the background, like that. Um, I'm going to close that down, and I'm going to come back into it, um, because now she's still looking just a little bit dark so let's just punch her up again if the, if the computer can catch up with me I'm just going to bring her up a little bit because I want that high key look so before and after of this what we just did it's also brightening the background up I could go back into the mask and just make it on her but I want the back really bright so I'm actually quite happy with that I know we're probably clipping up here, there, but this isn't for print, this is for uh, web graphic, so it's okay. There we go. So I can close that down again now, and I think we're quite more or less done there. Do I need another pass on those eyes? This eye maybe, because it's soft, it's not quite in focus, so I can maybe try and compensate um for it so I'm, you can see it's all back to zero because i'm multi-using the tool and if we go to where is it oh we can bring that flare up a little bit more let the computer catch up there we go i am going to mask this i'm not going to do both eyes yeah okay and i'm looking for the there it is eye enhancer like so. It's actually not looking that bad. So there's the second pass on that eye. And I was going to mask this one out so it's only affecting that eye. But you know what? I'm going to leave it. And do we need to move any more of that dark? Could do a little bit. I don't want it to look un too unnatural. Let's have a look before, after. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, it's still quite dark in there, but for the, for the purposes of the video, I think that's okay. I mean, quite, if you're coming close, it looks a lot better. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna close that down. And I think we're done. I don't think there's any real noise in the image. So I'm not going to run a noise AI. Yeah. So there you go. Quick and easy. And you can set that as a preset as well. If you've got like loads of images, which is actually what I did do when I did uh, the editing for this photo shoot. Originally, I made a preset and I was able to apply it to all the images. Um, and it really did speed up my, my workflow. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please click the um, subscribe button, it's free. And we're trying to get up to that, that golden number of 1,000 subscribers. Um, this, is, this is a new channel. Um, so trying to get it, trying to get it going. And uh, you know, we're going to do a lot more videos, not just on editing, but on photography in general as well. And yeah, so it's going to get really good and exciting. Um, 
what else I was going to say? Yeah, if you want to see the video of the, this photo shoot, it's actually on my other channel at the moment. Um, it's been cut, you know, shrunk down to about five minutes or something like that. Um, but it shows you the process of a photo shoot. And uh, yeah, so I think we done pre a pretty good job there. Quick and easy, that's, that's, that's what I like to do. Uh, yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, talk again soon. Take care. Mm-hmm.